Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hebert House. First, thank you so much for all the sweet messages and words about our new rainbow baby coming. We are so over the moon excited and we'll have lots of pregnancy videos coming up. But today, I can't wait to show you our homeschool classroom. As many of you know, we brought Bobby home at the middle of last year and just converted my office into the classroom. So before school started this year, we really wanted to like spruce it up and have it be all his own space. So that's what we did from painting to redecorating and a little bit of just touch-ups here and there to make it personal to him. So I'm going to show you that before I do, we would love for you to join us here in our little corner of the world by subscribing. I'm Leela. I'm the mom here at the Hebert House and we have lots of videos about organizing, cleaning, decorating. Um, we had videos about our journeys of trying to conceive and now we have conceived so we'll definitely have pregnancy videos and things like that coming up as well as homeschool. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Oh, before we get started on the tour, I want to show you really quick where we came from. So I'm going to show you a picture here of what the, this room looked like when we very first moved into the house. The lady who lived here before us was older. It's an older home, so it definitely had an older style. And then I'll show you what it looked like before we did the um, changes that we did to it now. So I'll show you those here and then we'll go into the tour. right so are y'all ready to see the transformation because it has come a long way all right i'm going to start with just a pan over the room this is our home school classroom start over here this is the same board oh and i'm going to link the video to our homeschool classroom tour from last year down below so that you guys can check it out and I'm so sorry I'm out of breath I don't know why I've been so out of breath lately um, but this is a whiteboard we just bought a cheap whiteboard off of Amazon and as you can see Kevin just put a wood border on it and stained it for me I love how that turned out and this comes in so handy when teaching Bobby right next to the whiteboard I have these rulers that are from Target and I actually got these um, to put like maps and things on while I'm teaching and they work awesome I love them and they were only like three dollars a piece and like they're so cute look they're so cute they look like little rulers I love them all right so that's all that's on that wall oh and guys I will link this paint color um down below as well it's valspar shark loop so i'll definitely link that so this is the first shelf here and i'm going to show you my organization too that's in this armoire but these green signs are from the hearth and hand collection from magnolia for target and i just use them to put our family verses on so this one just says i can do all things through christ who gives me strength philippians 4 13. This is the flag we do the Pledge of Allegiance to every day. These are mom's books that I'm currently reading or working through. Um, this is just a pegboard that I got from Hobby Lobby and it was navy blue but I painted it white and the um, term that's on it just says finish the drill and if you are any kind of sports fan but particularly a Georgia Bulldogs fan, this is one of our coach Kirby Smart's favorite sayings and it's just telling our guys to finish the drill finish what you're doing make sure you do it in completion in the right way and so this is something I use with Bobby a lot this is actually a Scentsy warmer that looks like a little typewriter which is so cute um, my sister Stephanie sells Scentsy I'll leave a link down to her um, like page below but she's who I get all my Scentsy from and then over here, well, my niece left that here, but I have a little dachshund. Birch is our little homeschool mascot. And then I have a L that Bobby literally made me probably when he was like three or four that I've just always kept in my office. And so I put it in here. So these shelves right here are actually just cheap shelves from Walmart. I think they're like $15 and they were in my office. But when we changed this over, I just had Kevin take them apart and he just used reclaim wood on the top of the shelf to make them more like rustic. All right, so down here I have these bins I got at Lidl. They just have all of my teacher's books, so all of the books that I teach from and like the test uh, keys and quiz keys. You can look in, see. You can just kind of see in there. Those are those. 
and I've just labeled each one of them with the class. This black bin is my to-do bin. So anything I need to get done, like as far as paperwork, filing, paying bills, um, thank you notes, anything like that goes into that bin. And down here we have math and science bins. So this one has like math protractor calculators, stuff like that. And then this has like science um, equipment for like science projects. So that's that shelf. Oh, and these little metal bins, blocker style bins, are from the Target dollar spot. And these A to Z bookends are also from Target. And this little twine thing that I have the flag in is from Magnolia. I'm going to try to tell you guys where I found everything and link if I can find any of the stuff below. So we have our armoire here. That is where I have most of our organizations so up there. I have two signs. One says 365 new days, 365 new chances. And the other one says work hard and be nice to people, which I am a full on believer of. And then I'll show you our armoire. I'm going to show you the organization and the armoire after the tour. But I just have this armoire here. And then after this, or on this side, I have another sign, and then we have this shelf here. So I was gonna show you real quick what's in that. This sign is just another Hearth and Hand for Target by Magnolia sign that I got, and it says, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. And this is actually our family verse. Like this is the verse that you'll see in our house a lot, and it's just kind of like our family motto. So that is up there. Then I have our printer. <laughs> Over here I have a science experiment we're currently working on. Um, he's learning earth science. Then in here we have beakers and then more teacher's books. This sign right here, my um, ma-in-law um, got this for me and I don't know where she got it, but it just says bless your heart. And then in these bins down here we have all kind of like the electrical stuff. So electrical wires, hard drives, disk drives, things like that and again those are from Target so, oh and I had to get like an old retro pencil sharpener because what the classroom is whole without one right okay so over to this piece and this is actually my favorite thing that we added to the new classroom is this frame so this is actually a cork board from Hobby Lobby and we just painted the cork part white if you can see, let me see if I can, there you go. We painted the cork part white and then stained the outside wood to make it look like this. And then we also got this map from Hobby Lobby, which is interactive with the website. So that's really cool. And then we got these pins um, so that Bobby could mark everywhere that we've been as a family. So the trips that Kevin and I have taken just by ourselves are not on here. These are all just trips that we've taken as a family. And so I love this. I hope to fill it up a lot more, obviously, as he gets older. But I just love this idea. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna print pictures and from any trips, and then we're just gonna tack them around kind of like as a memory board, which I just love. And then we're also going to cut out pictures of places that we wanna go as kind of like um, an inspiration board of the where we wanna go next. Where our next corner is Bobby's reading corner. This is where he reads every night when he does his like independent reading or during the day. So first I have these shelves. These are just from an old pallet that Kevin cut down and sanded down and made into shelves for me. And they're wonderful because they actually hold a lot of books. They're very deep, as you can see, like you can see how many books are in here. Um, and he sanded them down so they don't like give you splinters. And then Bobby has wanted a beanbag chair forever. So I finally, gave in and got him one this one's from walmart i think it was around 40 dollars, and he loves it he sits in it every night and reads before bed just adores it all right so the last section of the room is this wall here and i'm just going to walk you through this so of course we have a clock so that way i can make sure that we're staying on time with each subject i got this little dream decoration and that is from the dollar tree and then i got this calendar from Hobby Lobby and this is where I just keep Birch we can hear you scratching <laughs> sorry y'all this is where I keep all of his tests and projects that are due down here we have this 
hanging rack. This was actually from TJ Maxx. So I don't think they have it anymore. And then we have our library bag, which we take back and forth to the library. And then we have Bobby's swim team bag that stays in here. I wanted to tell you guys before I get to the table, the other thing we did in here is we repainted all of the trim and doors and it made a humongous difference in just how bright and airy everything looked. Kevin also knocked the popcorn ceiling down and we added a ceiling fan to this room and that's a hunter fan uh, from Lowe's and it just fits in here perfect but what I did is I changed out the light things that hold the light bulbs so I don't know if you can see them because the light bulbs are in them but I changed them out for clear glass instead of the white glass because I wanted lots and lots of light in this room and I think they turned out really well I'll definitely link this fan below all right so this is the desk that we work at this is probably one of my favorite like Facebook marketplace finds ever. I found this table. It was $50. So we sanded the top and um, stained it and then painted the bottom. And it definitely has like cup rings and markings, but that just makes me love it even more. It has paint on it, but we're using it for a school desk and future children as well will use it, I hope. So, you know, I love it for that. Down here, we have our trash can. I got that from the Target dollar spot recently, so it should still be there. And then we have here, like this is my space. So of course, like I have my computer, my blue light glasses. Um, if you guys haven't heard about them, these are amazing. I ordered them off Amazon. I'll be sure to link them below, but they are so wonderful. Um, I use them, especially at night, so that the blue light doesn't like hurt my eyes as much. I don't get headaches anymore when I wake up in the morning and they are phenomenal. I love them. And then look at this little nugget right here. He made this for me in church when he was like four. Then over here we have Jolly Ranchers for test time just to help him kind of concentrate. I have some paper clips over there. I have my Swing Line Gold Stapler from Target. This little caddy is from Hobby Lobby and then I just have mason jars and buckets. So I have highlighters, scissors, Expo markers. This is just my glasses, um, some post-its from the Target dollar spot, glue stick, stress ball, <laughs> um, pens, and then all of my colored pens. Over here, I have just like a sticky note thing from the Augusta National. There we have a Bluetooth speaker. When he's working on his homework, he likes listening to music. And then I also got this at the dollar spot at Target this year when they had all of their school stuff. Thought it was so cute and then i'm gonna take you around to bobby's side of the desk from where he sits so he's got his coaster here he's got his he's got his coaster here he's got his pens and pencils this is like a little ron from harry potter bookmark this is his planner that i got off of amazon hand sanitizer uh, index cards post-its colored pencils and then just like random stuff. That is the desk we sit at while we're doing school and then I'm going to show you real quick how I organize this armoire to be like carry all of our stuff that we really need for the school year and also use it for all of my creative stuff like painting and planning and cross stitch and all the little creative things that I do. All right this is Bobby's side. So this is like his little locker I would say. So this has everything that he needs for school. He take our Sweet Everett's program up here, sweet boy. But up here we have pencils, crayons, and colored pencils, and then extra supplies. Here he's got graph paper, regular paper, extra notebooks, and dividers. Here he has just some of his curriculum and his DVD player that he uses for his finance class. I got this little guy from the Target Dollar Spot, and I just have erasers, tacks, and pencil accessories in there. I used this for his actual locker <laughs> from middle school and made him a little shelf. So he's got a calculator, multiplication flashcards. Got this little box at Dollar Tree for his vocabulary words. Down here, he's just got some busy notebooks, his notebooks for school. And then these are all of his school books that he uses on a daily basis. And I just have these like little boxes that I got at a um, yard sale in there for those. And then this is my side. So here at the top, I just have envelopes for mail. I got my um, 
what what is this called clipboard <laughs> i got my clipboard for when i get to the grocery store printer paper this is like my address stamp and stamp pads my silhouette for cutting vinyl or paper my notebooks that i have like my coupons my grades my lesson plans my teacher's manuals over here is where i got all my like camera stuff for youtube some notepads and then down here i just have some like little random bits label maker my tripod um, hole punch and then you know some other like little odds and ends there and then down here is my crafting section here so up here I have all of the letters and numbers and I got these at the Dollar Tree. I want to show you these actually. They still have these. They're like little organizers. So I wanted to show you guys these. These are from the Dollar Tree and I use them for our letters and numbers for our like message board. But I got these and they work so good. Um, I love when I find something from the Dollar Tree that works like so effortlessly. These are my fabric sisters, scissors. If anybody uses them for anything other than that they will probably die. Um, brushes and watercolors, pens and markers, chalkboard markers, sharpies, tape and glue sticks, sticky notes and page flags. This is all of my washi tape. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed. Cross stitching supplies. And then this is a folder that I keep extra like cards for. Um, different events that I can just easily access those and send them to people. And then the last thing that I have over here, this is just where I keep like our files that I file, like bills and stuff my computer bag and a couple other random things so that's how i organized this um this armoire all right guys so that is our homeschool classroom where we spend most of our day each day i really love how this room came together it's so calming with the blue color and i just feel that with the wood accents it really just makes it a cozy and calm place for bobby to do his schoolwork. i just love it so just to give you a heads up, there will be a fall decor house tour coming up soon. So I can't wait to show you that. It's going to be in September and you'll get to see a little bit of what we've done around the house just to change it up since our last one. And that's really exciting. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time. God bless.